Good evening, and I want to thank you for welcoming us and so warmly. Every place we've gone since we've been here for the last week, the people have been just amazing, and we can't say thank you enough to you, the audience, the people for all there, and especially to Klaus, who we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Klaus Christus, so we can say thank you very much to Klaus. In South Africa, people have long defined themselves by race. Before Nelson Mandela was released, if you were black, you played the saxophone, you were into jazz, and your sport was soccer. If you were white, you played rugby or cricket, um, and your kids maybe played the violin, and you went to the symphony concerts. But thankfully, when Nelson Mandela was released, all these things came to an end. That you need no longer be defined by race. So if you're black and you want to play the violin, we're here to make that possible. And many white children decide they want to learn the saxophone and take an interest in jazz and play soccer, they're free to do so. So this is probably one of the defining characteristics of South Africa and the program that we try and make, create the opportunities for children who want to pursue interests <laughs> that uh, add beauty and, and meaning to their lives. It is something that helped me um, find my self-confidence and actually believe in myself and have that have that there's actually something I'm good at in life that gives me the push to play with my heart you know when I'm playing and having my friends around me is always something that pushes me like seeing someone in the audience smile it's just wow I made someone smile today so it's just a great thing to know that I can make someone smile even if it's just one person just the music communicating through the music is a great way to make people live actually it's, yeah. It's, a, it's, it's just always um, nice to experience a different scenery. So for us it's a great chance to meet different people, experience the different cultures and actually embrace other people's cultures and learn from them and show them how things are at home and share our different experiences of living. That way you know you get to see everything from around the world and get to learn from that and you know maybe find yourself in a better um, manner, you know, maybe you could see yourself in a different way through how other people live, appreciate the smaller things in life, it's a way of seeing all of that.
Lumtulo, Kumba, who missed a guy, why are you going to say to? And then Wafiga, Nababa Nyambatala, Wafiga Bakalisi violin pubs are sort of a concert in Yana Pai School, and then even Ruban to Baboni Bezala, Evilin Lento, Danumsa, Lento Bayenza, and then the Kala again, the Utati forms who missed a guy, the Kala and Dala Evilin. something that I feel I can hardly live without. For me, music has become my life. So every time I play, it's like a whole new experience. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> yeah. And you know, I feel that when you're playing, whatever you do is you must never try and please yourself, but you must always try and serve the music and feed it to the audience as honestly as possible so that they may enjoy it just as you do. through a lot of different eyes. Some people see the war, the crime, the squalor, the corruption, the poverty. And no one can deny those things exist. But there are fantastic things happening in Africa. You know? so we have to believe that this program, where children have the opportunity to learn a musical instrument, change their lives, make better life choices, and we all hear how well they play. This is. This is one of the good news stories that's coming out of Africa, and we want to be able to tell this story. I read a quote today that says that music can never lie and if anything needs change in the world it can only be done through music. I, well that is true in a sense because I find music to be something that is a universal language, a language that 
everybody understands and in that way whenever played by anyone or sung by anyone I find it, it can, it's something that can bring change either in yourself and can also bring political change and change mankind itself. and pack up your bases. Tell the others they must get all their instruments packed up. And the cookies as well, but they mustn't eat mine, eh? I'm often asked, where does it all lead? You know, you have all these children, at present over 400 children playing the violin. Where does this, what's the future look like? And I try and tell people that some of the children might become teachers, some of them might become performers. They might end up in symphony orchestras. Uh, their talent might take them around the world. But the one, the one characteristic that will never leave them is the discipline they learn from playing a musical instrument. The self-esteem, the responsibility, all the things that lead a person to have, have more self-confidence. This will lead to better citizens and children in general who will make better life choices. So the violin is about music, but it's also about changing lives. And we really believe that music will change the lives of many children who come through our, our program. <laughs> 